Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to present you um, an X fight, a uh, rating fight uh, in middleweight. Referee in the ring is Igor Schmidt from Slovakia. <laughs> I'm inviting to the red corner, the fighter from Croatia, Finko Barisic. Here we go, Finko Barisic is coming in. Let's talk a little about Finko Barisic. I love this guy's name. Bingo Barisic, he, this is his W5 debut, but overall he has 20 fights, 16 wins, seven by KO, he has a knockout power. He's got four losses, he's 27 years old, 186 centimeters, and he fights in the 72 kilogram category. However, he's going up what may be a 17 year old, but I'm gonna tell you right now, a very skilled 17 year old, Sergei Chad, who only has one loss, and that was by liver kick against Mikhail Kershkik from the Czech Republic. To the blue corner, the fighter from Russia, Sergei Chadin. Sergei Chadin has six, six fights with W5, five, five wins, no knockouts, one loss, extremely fast, great chin, as, as does do most Russian fighters. He has 16 fights overall in his professional career, 11 wins, three by knockout, one loss, and one draw. And again, he fights out of the Chadden School in Ariel, Russia. It is an amazing school. It's the same school where Vlad Tunov trains. Andre Chadden is a very experienced trainer. He produces a lot of young, great talent very early on. He's here between these two fighters because Finko is significantly taller again. He's a 10 centimeter height advantage over Sergei Chad. And Sergei's gonna have to get inside. Sergei is gonna be quick. Old. His height is 186 centimeters. His professional record is 25, 16 wins, 7 victories by way of knockout, and uh, 4 losses. The representative of Croatia, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Finko. Baric. There's Finko fighting out of Croatia. And the blue corner, the fighter, 18 years old. His height is 176 centimeters. His professional record is 13 fights, 11 wins, three victories by way of the crowd, and only one defeat and one draw. The representative of Chardin school team from Russia, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergei Chardin. There you go. Both fighters have been introduced. They're going to meet now in the center of the ring. Igor Schmidt will be the referee in this fight. Very experienced referee. He does a lot of our fights here at W5. What I was talking about before, Finko Borisic is going to have to deal with Sergei Chardin's speed. He is quick and he is very patient. Like Vlad, he does, he's not emotional, he's strategic, he's very poised for a 17-year-old fighter. He's got a great future ahead of him. Let's see how he does the rest of the right now in this match. It's our second match and our second rating fight of the night before we get into the super fights. Again, we have six fights tonight. Our last one being an amazing two-title championship fight between Vlad Tunov and Masaro, Masaro Glunder. Finko already complaining that the mat is too wet after the last fight.
both fighters just eyeing each other up. Here you'll see a big difference from the first fight. When you have professionals like this, they're going to be a lot more strategic. They're going to have a lot more pop and speed behind their kicks and their punches. Their defense should be a lot up. Sergei and Vlad both have great defense. And they're going to be trying to time their punches and kicks. And this is shaping up to be a very typical first round or first minute of the first round. Both fighters now just looking for signs, trying to pick signs up from their opponent to see if they can time something. Nice exchange of low kicks between the fighters. Sergey gets inside as Finko tried to grab him and deliver two nice body shots. Inside is Sergey Chadden's game right now. If he can get inside, it'll be very, very bad for Finko. Finko's got to keep Sergey at a distance. Nice left hook by Finko. You got to kind of root for Finko with a name like that. Might be one of the best names for a fighter I've seen. Good left hook by Sergey. Finko leaning backwards. Was able to absorb part of it. That is the second warning now given to Finko of clinching, grabbing the back of the head and trying to bring your opponent into that knee. Nice blocks by Finko. Or by Sergey. He could try to bring that knee through a right hook. Both of them were blocked by Sergey. Sergey Finko trying to come up with that leap. Nice body shot by Sergey. Nice spinning back kick right into the midsection by Sergey. Push Finko right on the ropes. Finko trying to counter right now at that left of the head and right to the body. Finko, got to be careful when you turn that back and try and run away. Never turn your back to your opponent. That could end up with you on the mat. Ten seconds here in the first round. Another low kick. Not a very hard one, so I think he'll recover from that one. Nice knee by Finko, and that was partially blocked by Sergey as well, but that was a good knee. And that is the end of the first round, an evenly matched first round. I can't give that one to either fighter. So right now we would be looking at a fourth round. Remember, this is three rounds with the potential of a fourth tie-breaking round. right now and see what Fighters. Andre Chadden is telling Sergey. It looks like he's either talking about that right of Finko or he's trying to say he's trying to come with that big overhand right. Sergey does have to punch up. Oh, this is round. But you'll find that at Chadden School, unlike a lot of other Russian kickboxing schools, they do concentrate a lot on leg work. Sergey can use those legs rather than going to the more boxing style, which is the preferred out of a lot of Eastern European, I can say, uh, schools. We should be seeing a lot more action here. Sergey trying to go, nice body shot by Sergey. That had a good pop on it, a right straight down to the body. Got him right on the rib. Finko trying to get him with that jumping knee. Sergey blocking it nicely. Sergey just missing that spinning back kick right into the midsection. Finko did a good job moving out of the way. Nice right inside low kick, sweeping the leg out from Finko. Finko landing his own low kick. Another, you see that power of Sergey Chadden. Another sweep put Finko down. 
Ah, oh, Sergey just missed a right. Ducked underneath. Finko's left came up with that right hook and just missed it. Finko was wide open. Those are the shots that you look at and think, God, if I only I can have it back. Good body shot by Sergey. Sergey right now landing more punches cleanly than Finko. Finko still throwing punches, but a lot of them being blocked. Not a lot of action out of either of these fighters. Sergey again going with that spinning heel kick. So one thing I'll say, if you watch a lot of Sergey Chan or Vlad Tuna fights, they love those high risk maneuvers. The spinning heel kick, spinning back kick, the spinning back fist, very high risk. If you land it, yeah, it's lights out. But too many times, an opponent, if they can just time it. And I have yet to see an opponent time their counter. But one day it's gonna come. Oh, what a big right by Sergey Chan. And Finko goes down on a right hook. And that should be a standing eight count. Let's see. Is he calling it a slip? He's calling it a slip and not a knockdown. That's a big right. Finko did go down. We'll have to look at the replay after this round to see what happened. Nice right inside low kick by Sergey, and he comes inside. And you look at Finko, actually, he wanted to bring the elbow down right on the back of Sergey, and that's a bit cheesy. Sportsmanship, my man. You didn't like that big right? Too bad. You're in the world of fighting now. Now Finko trying to go with the twist and the throw. He wants to play a little dirty. I guess Sergey actually got to him then. Sergey trying to come in with that lead jab. Followed up with a right. I think he's doing a good job of blocking it. I'm a little bit disappointed in Finko. That's the first time in all the fights that I've commented on that I've seen a fighter actually think about committing a dirty move on purpose. And one that actually potentially is very dangerous to the health of the fighter. Bringing that elbow down right on the back of someone's spine, that could end up very bad. Well, I give that round to Sergey. Let's see if we can look at this replay here. When Finko went down, there's that spinning back kick that Sergey missed. All right. So he hit him on the arm, and Finko did go down, and the ref called him a slip. But I guess, I guess what made Finko mad was that Sergey actually hit him again while he was already down. But to me, that almost looked like a continuation of a, of a punch that he was already throwing. Fighters. Here we go, third and final round. I got Sergey Chadlini one round. First round tied. That round should go to Sergey. This is the third round. The fighters touch gloves. And let's see what the third round brings us. The third round. It's close enough that this could go to a fourth round. Me personally, I have. I have a slight lead for Sergey. Sergey missing on that wild right. Sergey looking a little impatient. Two good body shots by Sergey. He looks like he's almost becoming aggressive and rushing Finko, and that could have dire consequences. Nice high kick by Sergey. Another high kick by Sergey. Right on the arm. Finko blocking him nicely. Sergey going to the body. Oh, Finko grabbing the head again and bringing that knee up. That was dirty, dude. That was dirty. Clinched the back of the head, pulled it right down into his knee. And he was already warned twice for that. And I'm surprised that the referee didn't catch that. Well, let's see if they can stop the blood. In this rule, if they can't stop the blood, then it is, it is called on a medical TKO. In my opinion, that should be a disqualification. He was warned twice about grabbing the back of the head and bringing the knee up. And the third time, he landed it, and he sliced open the knee. Sergey's all right. They stopped the blood. There's a lot of Vaseline on there. I'm surprised that the uh, ref didn't make him take some of it off. Again, you see him grabbing the back of the head and trying to pull it down to the knee. Again, he's been warned twice for that. Good low kick by Sergey. Oh, left right by Sergey, and Finko gets stunned. Ah, oh, now they're calling it a slip. Good left, right by Sergey. Let's see if he can land one again. Finko looking a little wobbly. 
Begay missing that left-right combination. Well, regardless of what happens, if I am Sergey Chadin and he loses on a medical TKO, I am definitely going to appeal that decision and have the judges look at that tape again to see if he actually grabbed his head and pulled the knee right into it. Here we go, they stop the blood again. Let's see what Sergey does. Minute and a half left. I think he's trying to do that spinning back fist. Trying to bring that knee up again. Sergey doing a good job of blocking it. Pico sees the blood and is trying to use that knee to put Sergey on his back. Again, he keeps grabbing that head. He's a bit of a dirty fighter, in my opinion. Nice right by Sergey. Nice right by Sergey. He's coming in. Good right by Finko, landing on the chin of Sergey. Finko grabs that leg and looks to throw him to the ground. Nice move by Sergey. Finko trying to do that leaping knee. Sergey turns around and Finko lands on his back. 30 seconds left here in the third round. Finko really taking a lot of risks, being very aggressive. He likes that leaping knee. He's done it now twice in a row. Let's see if he tries to go to it again. And to be quite honest with his height, he could be a deadly fighter with that knee. I don't see why he has to grab the back of the head and try and pull it into his knee and play a little dirty. We here at W5 like the clean fights. Nice low kick exchange. Not a lot of power behind it. We go to the scorecard. There we go, that is the end of the third round. Let's see who the judges give it to. I got Sergey leading at least one round, maybe a tie in a third, maybe you go to Finko and we go to a fourth round. A fourth round would not bode well for Sergey Chadin with that cut, as they've had to stop the bleeding twice. I'm hoping that the judges actually saw him grabbing the back of the head when he brought the knee. I'd like to go to the replays and we show the replay. I want to see where he got that cut to see if it appears on the replay as the way I witnessed it. And there he goes with that clinch on the back of the head, which he was warned, by the way, in the first round twice. Let's see if we can get to that cut. Waiting now. There's that right to the body, which made him upset. There's that clinch to the back of the head again. Landed on the chin. That looked like it might have been a clean knockdown right there. And we're past the bloody part. So I, I, right now we haven't replayed what move actually caused the cut above Sergei Chadin's eye. Maybe we'll show another replay. I do not know. So the judge is having a tough time here. Supervisor right now doing the calculation. Sergey's got a problem, that eye is swollen, jump already. 
going to have a tough time seeing out of that left eye. Let's see how, how that bodes for him right now. He only has one loss in his career. It happened in his last fight against Mikhail Kirchmer in the Czech Republic. It was a liver kick that dropped him in the first round. This is his first fight since that loss. And now his left eye is swollen shot on what I perceive to be quite a bit of a dirty shot by Finko Barisic. I do think that the fourth round is the right call, although yeah, I do think round. that that cut should have been, because it has affected now his ability to fight, clearly, that that should have been a point taken away by Finko, and I really wanted to see a replay of that. All right, let's go in the fourth round, and again, Finko grabbing the back of that head and trying to use those knees. Nice, oh, nice uppercut by Sergey. He's coming after Finko. It's his best strategy right now with a closed eye. Finko right now saying, look at his eye, but Sergey saying, come on, dude, let's fight, man. I ain't afraid. Unfortunately, they have to stop that bleeding. And it's his left eye that's very swollen here, not even the eye where the cut is. It looks like they're going to call a doctor now to come check at it. Uh, it looks like they're not going to be able to stop it this time. What do you do now if you're Sergey? You lose on a medical T TKO. Do you appeal? Do you appeal this decision because of that cut, which was caused by what may have been uh, an illegal hit by grabbing the back of his head and pulling his head into the knee, or you just accept it and move on. This is gonna be tough. Right now the doctor's looking at Sergey's right eye. It is a nasty cut, and looks like the doctor is saying no, so it looks like they're gonna stop the fight. That's it, they're calling the fight. And it's complete crap, in my opinion. I, I personally think Igor Schmidt missed a call on that punch, and I really want to see a replay on this. If not, I'll watch it later when the tournament's over. All right, here we go. This is uh, either the fourth round, the fourth round, the beginning of it. Sergey, who was undefeated, now goes and gets his second loss, this time a medical TKO. To Finko Barisic. Fighters. Because of the trauma of the fighters on the blue corner. Referee stop the fight. The winner is the fighter from the red Kana Finko Parishit from Croatia. Shake it off, Sergey. You'll bounce back, buddy. This is kickboxing. It's almost impossible to go undefeated. Fights down. We're now about to get into our super fights of the night before we land into our main fights, our main event of the night. So let's get ready for that. Just about two seconds after the pictures, Alek Navij and our ring announcer will be introducing our next fighters. And this one has a lot of potential, the next fight has a lot of potential ramifications for Andre Kedvish. The reason being that he is 4-0 in W5.